creativity isn't just what happens in the studio. It's how you shape and form the forces that impact on your life. And uh, there, those are many if you have complex needs and multiple disabilities. If you are a caregiver, very often an unpaid caregiver, then you are quite isolated. So we walk alongside people and, and share intelligence and an understanding of the systems that both disable and enable people to live more fully. We have a kind of a core team of people that work here and a core sort of group of neurodivergent artists and makers who we worked with over a long period of time. We see ourselves as a kind of community of people, so we have a much wider kind of reach when you look at the support, the families and support workers. So we would consider those all part of the kind of the wider collective of Project Artworks. We think about the community and the collective as a, a kind of ecosystem of inter, interdependencies, because dependency is something that our society doesn't accept, and yet we are all interdependent in some way. We embrace that interdependency between people and because it, it makes us all uh, stronger and able to navigate sometimes very complex and difficult lives. The really central part of the work is to establish relationships of trust. And some of the relationships we have with people in studio and families are really enduring. If you aren't within, you don't have lived experience of disability, you don't necessarily understand, know, or have a picture of how people live and therefore how to involve them in, in the work you do. So we established a sort of methodology of awareness raising that involved speaking to a whole organisation from director to technicians, front of house, the whole teams, and raising awareness about social care sector, about complex needs. We would run these quite dynamic uh, encounter workshops with whole teams from uh, cultural organisations within their space. And then potentially we might have an exhibition or something afterwards, but essentially it was really to develop these relationships between this organisation and the social care sector around them. We're, we're led by the neurodivergent artists and makers that come here and they will show us how to um, connect, communicate, etc. And then that learning we can then take into uh, uh, a more national kind of setting. Explorers, which was a three-year program of art and conversation. We went with six people of neurodivergent artists who we've worked with for a long time. We've got long-standing sort of trust-based relationships with them and with their families. And so we, we went uh, all together to this remote place and we sort of lived as a uh, sort of itinerant community for six or seven days and we recorded the experience of the impact of the landscape on all of us but also the sense of kind of togetherness. I didn't know Sid could paint the way he could till he came here so it's just Sid's carers and project artworks are a very integral part of our lives. So the support collective at Project Artworks is a group of people with lived experience of supporting or caring for someone with complex support needs um, and that includes family carers, um, siblings, parents, support workers and we also bring representatives from health and social care into the fold to hear the carer voice. So we bring people together to share local knowledge and intelligence about how to access uh, person-centred care and actually also where to draw upon legislation and enforce your rights as well um, for the people that you care for. 
So the support collective has always been part of our creative program. So unless we um, engage with the circles of support surrounding someone with complex needs, their parents, their family members, support workers and social workers, um, it's very hard for artist makers here to like have that freedom and autonomy to access the studio unless they have that support. And so it's really crucial for us to uh, embed ourselves in that world and and um, become familiar with the structures of support surrounding an individual. And we hope that the exhibition kind of reveals some of the layers surrounding um, the support that it takes to kind of um, enable freedom of expression and artistic output and creation. And it's always lovely working with families in this kind of environment and um, seeing individuals reveal a side of themselves. Um, that families may not even have seen before. So yeah, it's a huge privilege um, working in this way. I love it. I, it's all great. And years ago, I couldn't do any of this. I couldn't do none of it. And now I look at me. I'm an artist. I love coming here because everyone is so nice to me and they all appreciate my hobbies and what my interests are and everyone is so friendly and they don't never judge me 